Now, in the seventh chakra, uh, they, they call it a thousand petals of lot of us of lot us flower. Uh, we're gonna say the crown oh, chakra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the, the sahastra, the, the crown chakra, positive pole or giving mode in female body, negative pole or receiving mode in male body. The seventh chakra is where the positive and negative poles merge and only pure consciousness remains. So to grow as a balanced human being and go deep in your spiritual search is very important to find a balance of energy in each chakra. And if you feel that some chakras are less activated and some more overactivated, then it is advisable to practice chakra breathing meditation. For 21 days. In our Tantra mm. Nectar workshops, we are, uh, that's something that was okay. So, this is the crown. Yeah, oh, this so is the crown. You, so, are you saying the top two are both feminine chakras, the third eye and the one above the crown? Are they both feminine? Yeah, that's what it, uh, positive pole given mode and female. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. because see, the, the source energy or the God energy is love. Love is a, a feminine energy. So apparently we're, we're actually in the body on six chakras, three male and three female, but when they merge properly, then we're going to be the whole, yes. which is love, which is that top. Oh, this is interesting. Or they call it the violet flame. They say that it's the, the, uh, secret of the white gold, that the whole perfection of, of, you know, the yin yang. Wow. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. Um, it makes me wonder if if we're conscious of this, these chakras, and we put in the work, there should be no reason, if both people are putting in the work, there should be no reason for separation. I agree. Yeah, I, agree. I don't see a reason for separation. Again, if we're putting in the no, work. Where there's no vision that people perish, we're not seeing, you know, we haven't seen, we haven't focused on what exactly is making us you know at odds with each other right hmm. wow and so we got to be conscious of the energy we're taking in and putting out and we got to be uh aware that something's off yeah something's Ooh. off yeah <laughs> what's going on through through your mind I'm just thinking that this is very deep and this is something that that you know we we really need to uh, put out there in a big way for people to practice and you know even the fact of if somebody's feeling rejected that feeling of rejection you need to kind of go through and and check your chakras if you're a female check the female chakras where are you weak right. if you're a male check the male chakras where are you weak what can i do to strengthen them and there's even um there's even subliminals on youtube that you can play to strengthen certain chakras you can play them all night while you sleep um, we have so many tools, you know, we can activate those chakras and, and make, strengthen them. And, uh, there's, there's a scripture that talks about strengthening the things that remain. And, uh, I, I just think that that's so important for us to take a hold of what we know, these few little tips and start going with it. And we, like we said earlier, we have to un unravel these strands from somewhere. And I think this is an excellent starting point to, to understand. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah, this would be a cool, this would be a cool workshop. Um, very. I've, I've enjoyed it. I'm, I appreciate yeah. you bringing this. This has been very interesting. 